I'll talk about this movie, Soul Surfer. Yeah, and that was about um, Bethany Hamilton. And her story is, it's remarkable. She was a prodigy surfer girl. I mean, with this big vision, this big thing for what she was going to do. And then all of a sudden, one day she's out there with her friends on her surfboard board and a shark comes up and he bites her left arm off right below the shoulder. So like right here, just gone. And I remember her being interviewed just weeks later by a journalist and he says, well, Bethany, if you ever surf again, and right when he said the words, if she was like, stopped him dead in his tracks. She's like, oh, what do you mean if? She's like, it's not if, it's when. And then she went on to surf in a, in a whole new and exciting way. And, and it was a, a very powerful, powerful film because it's just like, right, there's not stopping because life looks different. It's just a continuation of it in a different form. Right. Because she probably had her vision where she was up there forearms surfing. They even try to give her a prosthetic. And she's just like, you know, this just doesn't feel like it's me. But one of the most powerful things in the movie was when Bethany and her father were sitting by the ocean after they won some competitions. And she's like, well, what's next? What do I do next? And his words to her were just listen. And it wasn't just listen to him. It wasn't listen to your coach. It was listen to yourself from within or listen to the universe or spiritual perspective, listen to God, whatever it might be, but just listen. And that next best step is going to be revealed to you. And I really, really think that there's a lot of power in that. Love it. Yeah. One of my, my first clients and also life coaches uh, is a gentleman named Matthew Ferry. And okay. he had a phrase that he, he used all the time and he had a course around it called inspired action. Mm. And that, that's kind of something that's always in the back of my mind. So my and words. Yeah. Just um, you're taking actions that, that inspire you and move you yeah. in the right direction. And um, that's just been something that I've just been thinking about constantly the last couple of weeks, because uh, like a lot of you listening, I mean, it, um, almost everyone's but there's very few businesses that i know across the us or the world that haven't been impacted in some way like the only businesses maybe are like businesses that are doing sanitation and cleaning and selling masks i mean all these I mean, they're they're taking some kind of of hit or um, just something that has had to change so i mean we're all in this in the same the same boat but you've got to look at that vision of I mean, what what do you start looking out six months, 12 months, two years, and, and yeah. that will start to guide your actions now. Yeah. So that you can wind up on the other side. And watch your thoughts in the process. Because one thing I know is true is that the more your head is clouded with thoughts of scarcity, thoughts of lack, negative thoughts, what you feel, thoughts of judgment on yourself and over others, the less you're really going to be able to hear what your next steps are. So from within inside of yourself. So you're gonna, it's going to get really clouded by all of these other thoughts. So it's really important. And I'll tell my clients, try not to think any thoughts as opposed to thinking negative thoughts, because those will cloud the direction that you need to take to get those transformational results. <laughs>